So I purchased an Omtech 50 watt laser and I decided I'd build myself a cart because I don't want to be bending over to use this thing. So here's a quick snippet of what it looks like and what I'm going to show you how to build. But first, I had to finish the part of the shop where the laser is going to be so that way I can never return again. So I insulated it and I put some paneling up and did a little dance. It worked! <laughs> so I'm just getting this thing ready, taking all the paper stuff off, getting it ready. So the cart is going to be about the size of the Omtech laser. But what about the bottom part? We'll get into that later. So the laser is 42 by 26 basically. And you have to take into consideration the thickness of the 2x4s when you do this. Okay, you will need to cut 4 42 inches and 6 23 inches for now to build the top and bottom. Now we'll talk about the pass through. Our bench height is 37 and a quarter inch high, so we want to make sure we could use the pass through. We got to take into consideration casters, how high it needs to be. So here's a rundown of what I, how I figured it out. My bench is 37 and a quarter inch high. I just started subtracting everything until I got 15 and a quarter inches. That's the size of the middle piece. So you need six more 15 and a quarter inch pieces. So I cut all my wood down and I use my pocket jig to drill the holes. Started putting everything together, top and bottom pieces. I added the casters. And don't forget that middle piece. So now I just started putting a 15 and a quarter inch side legs on it to make a big box. I love using my clamps to put everything together. Make sure it's all nice and straight. My dad came over to give me a little hand to put it on the cart. So it's pretty heavy from the, it should be a two man lift. Um, I did mess up. When I wanted to put my cooler in, I cut a piece off and then I had to support this a lot better so it'll hold the um, the water chiller. If you take notice, you could see that a piece of the 2x4 is missing. Now I could slide this chiller in really nice without having to fart around with anything. I was having problems with uh, my hoses leaking in the beginning until I routed them nice. <laughs> and adding distilled water, making sure it's the right level. If you take notice there, I need to unplug it before I could fill it up. Well, to, to get it out of there, I need to unplug it, sorry. Now I put zip ties on the hoses so they don't come off when I don't want them to. <laughs> now I added this side part on there because I didn't want the wires to get destroyed from pushing it up against the wall or anything like that. When you turn on the laser switch, it gives power to the one side outlet. So I figured I would use a power strip to turn on my chiller and my exhaust fan at the same time. One less step for me.
Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna make sure there isn't any leaks or anything like that. So I'm gonna fire it up. So there you could hear uh, the water chiller just kicked on. That's, that's pretty quiet. Now this fan, it slowly, slowly speeds up. I want to say it's about full blast right now. You could set your speed with this handheld job, but I'm always going to keep it on uh, max, at least in, until I start using it and see can I take it down a little bit slower and still get all the fumes out of there. So we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to check for leaks. Good to go. Okay, so there we go. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope that helped you in some way. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, ring the bell so you can come back for more stuff. I will be putting out an uh, air assist video on this. I just had to do that. So I'll show you how I did that also. And by the way, I was very close on my pass-through hole for the laser. As you can see there in this picture. So, cheers.